I spent a lot of my time hiding how I was feeling and keeping everything bottled up and that led me to being the most, the unhealthiest I've ever been. I'm Stevie Blaine, I'm a body confidence and body acceptance activist in the UK. I have struggled with my body image my entire life. The first time was back in the 90s when, you know, people used to all get changed in one classroom and somebody pointed out that I had a stretch mark. And up until that point, my body was just a vessel for me to, you know, climb trees, play football and <laughs> just experience life. But that was the first point that I realised that I was different to these other kids. I looked different. And despite having the most wonderful, supportive family, it still snowballed into taking over about a decade of my life. I was in a terrible place with food and exercise, and I was the lowest I'd ever been, and there wasn't the resources or people there. But by having these conversations, breaking down the social norms about men being these unmovable creatures who don't talk about how they're feeling. It lets other men and boys know that it's okay to speak about these things. Throughout the pandemic, like a lot of people, I have felt negative about my body and research from Instagram and Calm have found that one in two young men have felt negative about their body directly from the pandemic. And that's natural. When you're not moving all day and you're at home, it has an impact on your mind and your body. Instagram really was the tool that transformed the way I feel about my body simply by seeing other bodies that are completely different to me made me realise that the differences between us are what makes us beautiful. And, you know, some of the people that I ended up following on Instagram back in the day and now some of my closest friends, it's about carving out that space for yourself, finding your own feed of people that are going to make you feel represented like you belong and uplift you. It's my entire purpose on the internet is to try and carve out a space for men to feel like they belong and that they have this safe space to open up and talk about how they're feeling without feeling like less than, less of a man. But I think more and more people are coming forward about talking about their own body image hang-ups and more people in the public eye are starting to break down those barriers and redefine what it means to be a man in 2021. But there's great resources on Instagram, Calm, there's loads of places that you can look for. If you look through the male body image hashtag on Instagram, you're going to find lots of people that are wonderful to follow and make you feel great. <laughs>